something that's already sitting in front of you. Well, you're right. What you need to do is first go back and watch my crispy fried chicken video because that's what I have here. These are boneless skinless chicken breasts that I uh, dredged in the dredge and marinated in the hot sauce and the buttermilk just like that other recipe and they have been sitting here cooling for just a little bit because today we are going to make my version of Nashville hot chicken. Huge flavor, spicy, salty, a little bit of sweet in the mix too. So what you need to do is first fry your chicken. So push pause, go back to the other video, fry your chicken, and then come back to me. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hopefully you're back. All right, now all you really need to do to create for Nashville hot chicken is a pasty sauce that gets um, put over the chicken once it is done. Now, this has just come out of the fryer, um, sorry, out of the cast iron skillet, and I have that standing by right here, because there's actually an ingredient in that pan that we're gonna need, okay? But first of all, we're gonna put our dry ingredients together in this bowl, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three tablespoons of dark brown sugar. To that, we are going to add a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. That's gonna give us some really red color and some flavor. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. That all goes in the bowl. Now, here comes the hot part of the Nashville hot. And this is something that you can adjust for heat level based on your taste. In my recipe, I am using two tablespoons, yes, two tablespoons of cayenne. That's gonna be pretty spicy. I've balanced it against the three tablespoons of the dark brown sugar, but this is still gonna give you quite a kick. So adjust accordingly. If you just want a little bit milder kick, put only one tablespoon. If you like it super hot, like a buffalo wing almost, then you may wanna up that to you know, two and a half, three tablespoons. I don't want you to go too far or you'll be mad at me. So I'm taking two tablespoons of cayenne and putting that into the bowl as well. I'm just gonna take a fork and kind of mash all of that together to incorporate all those spices and to break up the brown sugar because it's still a little solid as packed brown sugar tends to be. Ooh, I can smell the spice already. Now, here's the trick. I have fried my fried chicken in a combination of Crisco and peanut oil. Now you can take fresh peanut oil and utilize it, but I think it's even better if you will take the leftover oil from your pan and use that. And you're gonna want about a cup of either fresh peanut oil or what's here in the pan. And because it's warm, I'm just gonna take a little at a time until I get to almost a cup. There's flavor in this oil from the chicken frying. There's nothing wrong with some added flavor. We're almost there. Scoops. I'm not getting full ladles here because the pan is pretty shallow. I think that's going to be enough. Put the ladle to the side for a second. And again, I'm going to take that fork and stir all those spices into that oil. And it's going to be fairly thick, but it still should be pretty pourable because that's exactly what we're about to do. Now, I've got underneath here a towel, but on top of that towel, some paper towels to catch this um, 
sauce as I put it over my chicken. I don't like tossing the chicken in it because I think that's just a little too much for my palate. You may want to try it that way, but for me, I think the easiest way is to take that ladle that you just use, dig down in there so you get some of the spices and the oil, drain off a little bit of the oil so you get mostly a paste consistency almost, and then just begin to ladle that over these chicken breasts. And that is all it takes to make Nashville hot chicken out of regular fried chicken. So I'm going to put that to the side so that I can get a taste of this. Let's see how I did spread that paste all over. Cut into this chicken breast. I think this is going to be my fastest video ever because half the cooking process was done with fried chicken. But I got to taste this for flavor. First get a little hit of the sweet for the brown sugar, and then that heat grows from the cayenne. This is awesome. I hope you will try this. Adjust for your spice level to get it right where you want it. At least a tablespoon of the cayenne, because otherwise it's not natural hot chicken. It was not hot at all. Um, and I think you will really, really enjoy this. In Nashville, they serve it over a piece of white bread with some pickles on top, so I'm going to get some of my homemade pickles out of my refrigerator and do just that. Thank you so much for joining me today on Bradley the Singing Chef. I would love for you to subscribe, like, and share these videos with your friends and family and get in the kitchen and make some Nashville hot chicken.